This video will provide instruction on how to generate an ISO file from your own original content video DVD and then using the copy lock software from VinPower Digital to create a copy protected file that will be moved to one of our duplicators and an unlimited number of copy protected DVDs can be generated from this file. Let's begin. The first step is either to already have an ISO file or to generate an ISO file from your mastered DVD. In this case, we're going to take a DVD and rip it to an ISO file. We're going to use ImageBurn software, which is freeware available on the internet. We're going to select the option that says Create Image File from Disk. We've already inserted the disk in the DVD drive of our duplicator and it is now recognized. So let's go ahead and read this and convert it to an ISO file. And this is now generating. Now that ImageBurn has completed the process of generating the ISO file, the next step is to open Copy Lock and save the file to the hard drive of our computer or the hard drive of the duplicator. Let's go ahead and open Copy Lock. This message pops up in Windows Vista and Windows 7. Just a warning that this program might make changes to the computer. It's going to make changes to the hard drive of the computer, that is, which is to uh, save a file. So we'll say yes, that's fine. That's exactly what we want it to do. Here's our copy lock software. Let's go ahead and browse for that ISO file that ImageBurn created for us. Here it is, untitled project. And we're going to browse the destination where we want this file saved. We're going to save it also to my documents. The default is a VCP file. We'll just give it a name like project and save that and we're ready to go. It tells us the file is 288 megabytes in size and there's going to be another 100 megabytes for the copy protection added to the DVD. So we definitely have enough room for this on our DVD. We are using the trial version so it tells us the video images process 0 out of 5 after we use our five trial licenses, we will then need to purchase a dongle to make additional copy protected files. Let's begin. All right, our process is complete. And as you can see from the green bar, it was successful. We've used one of the five trial licenses. And now the next step is moving this over to the hard drive of the duplicator. We'll close the copy lock software and go to that next step. Now we're going to move the VCP file to the hard drive of our duplicator. We could have copied it directly to the hard drive of the duplicator as well. The first what we're going to do is go to our um, setup menu and then we're going to go to the external connection and we'll turn that on. Now the hard drive of the duplicator is connected to our computer. We're going to copy this VCP file was create, that was created to the dupe folder of our duplicator. The file is stored in our documents. Here it is. And here's our duplicator and the dupe folder. And we're just going to paste it right in there. Now, as you can see, the VCP file has been added to the hard drive of the duplicator. It's 389 megs because the copy protection adds approximately anywhere from 50 to 100 megs 
to the size of our file. We're going to close this window out and turn off the external connection. Now that we've copied the VCP file over to the hard drive of the duplicator, and again, you could have turned on the external connection and done that directly as opposed to copying the VCP file to your hard drive. We're going to change the source back to the hard drive and copy our VCP file to a disk. So we'll press escape to get out of the menu here, back to the root menu, which we can scroll through. And we're going to go to the source menu. Select source. Our source currently is a reader. We're going to press the up arrow to select the hard drive, press enter. And now we're going to go up to the copy menu. And then we'll press enter. There is our VCP file, project.vcp. We'll press enter. Uh, counter no counter gives us the option of counting up the number of copies we're going to make. We're just going to make one, so no counter and press enter. The unit opens, waiting for a blank. We'll put our blank disk in, press enter to close the drawer automatically. And now it begins to prepare and begin the copy process. This will take a few moments. It'll copy our file, and then we will have some copy protected disks. This is the end of the presentation.